Also, Steven, what is your, what? do you have, uh, oh, what? a, a, what's your started. work what's schedule? This, what? <laughs> the stream started, sorry. Huh? Hey, what the fuck? Uh, oh. next week I'm off Monday and okay. Thursday, I think. Okay. To answer your question. Phoenix! <laughs> I'm working till, I'm, a fun fact next week, folks, we're not going to have many streams because I'm working till 1 a.m. almost all of the days. That's so, fucked up. Yeah. We're open till midnight starting Saturday, baby. Anyway, hey, what's up? It's Phoenix Wright time. We're playing. People this... need them Christmas. They do need them Christmas. You could have warned me, Stephen. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a thing, and it says, you... uh, "Okay." I mean, I I'm can sorry. quit luckily, but like, I mean, it's Jesus fine. The Christ. stream just now went live, so. <laughs> like it just startled me. You're... I was about to. I was about to ask what you're if you're working any days this weekend because I wanted to talk about. Oh, what? Uh, I'm. I've started. I've started the stream. The, <laughs> yes, <stream's, laughs> the stream's going, Josh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Started. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know. Too late. Too little. Too late. I know. What? You should have started asking stupid questions when you has gone. Yeah, you fool. How to dare you? Anyway, it's time for Ace Attorney Two: Justice for All. I know the stream's live. What's happening? Am I high? <laughs> I was recapping what happened when the stream started, and now he's acting like the stream started Boys. again. Which it Boys, has. Give Which me a has. recap. Boys, what? give me a recap. I know no. the stream has started. I was Boys, saying give me a what you did to me when the stream started. Yes. And I complained am. about it, and then Swissy cut me off and <laughs> talked about how the stream started. I, I got a motherfucking recap. I'm no, literally losing my shit right now. What's what happening? Oh, hey, we're live. We're live now. What the fuck are you on about, Swissy? Am I high? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I. This is what I'm talking about. I think this Josh what I think what Josh is confused about is when I said earlier we're live now uh, nope. we had literally just gone live as in I was on the Twitch page we weren't live and then we were <sighs> so <sighs> it took a minute to How did I get into this right. mess? Guess we're, guess we're just, <laughs> guess we're fucking just Christ. That's this is immediately enough. off to a terrible start. You can't run How forever. Get attacked by a fucking Dracula Mr. Phoenix, or something? right? <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize this was the judge. Oh my god! Wh oh, it's me! What have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this! Huh? But I'm just a simple defense attorney. A sim Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title. Oh tackle. my god! <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Phoenix is fucking dead. Powerful start. September 8th, 9.08 a.m., District Court Defendant could Lobby say, Number 1. Could not say that for our fucking commentary. My god. Like, I literally got a fucking headache. <laughs> oh, hey! New pose! What a nightmare. And I bet That's it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Beep. Huh. Looks like they hung up. He wants to be this guy. He's oh, kinda, who's that? He's kind of he's kind of douchey. If that helps you. Ah, uh, good. I finally did the thing. I guess you just didn't you bother just reading any of that one. Line. <laughs> Swissy, Listen, please. it's passing by. It's nothing personal, Mister Attorney. Holy shit! <laughs> a few minutes later, this is a train wreck. Court, defendant lobby number one. Swissy Listen, comes I didn't back know it was in the comments. Auto mode. Steven and I had a whole system down. We are killing it with these streams, and Swissy comes back. Shambles. Man. Shambolic. It's because it was a quit. I didn't it know was it was a, on it auto. Was yeah, was sometimes they do auto. You just have to. Just you just have to like be. You guys just have to try to catch it. Really, that's the only thing you can do. Ouch! My head. It's throbbing. And why does it feel so foggy in here? All right. All right. I, I guess I'll be this nonsense. Sure. Good morning. Ah. Uh. Good. Good morning. What's wrong? You don't look well. People are at their best first thing in the morning. No. Where's that fighting spirit? <laughs> no. Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that. Um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong. What? 
What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Life in my hands? You promised me. You said you would prove I was not guilty. Not guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all other lawyers had laughed me off. Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you've done for me, ever. What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I really love to watch court proceedings, and I always root for you to win. When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to a fragile part of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible. No, I, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his client, sir? I can't believe this. No, it, it's just... Well, I think you have the wrong person. I'm... Yes, I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? It's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure he got amnesia, though. <laughs> From being bonked on the head. Also, also, yes, hello, Malagai. Hello, Ezzy. The trial Swiss will begin is shortly. Here. Will the defendant and anyways. her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? Legally the, speaking, I am here. The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? Oh, no. Hmm, I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see, what can I piece together? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> and that girl, I said I'd prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made she such an irresponsible promise. I can. So he literally got hit on the head ah, with a fire extinguisher and just forgot everything. Please tell me this is a bad dream. Hilarious. I am gonna How do voice I get the feeling like this is one dream normal. I won't be waking up from? Gulp. It's gonna be normal for consistency. She's been cured of the foot lettuce. September 8th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Does anybody remember who voiced this clown? Because it's been a while. Not him. The judge? That was me. Uh, wasn't it me because he was Toad? Bird. I voiced him like Toad. Yep. No, this was Steven. Was it? Now oh, let's supposed to take it. The prosecution is ready! You're out! Yep. It's Toad now, so... I mean, it was to begin with, so... Mm. What is it, Mr. Wright? Um, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other defense attorneys around here? I guess not. Now then, are you ready? Yes. I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. If her life is in my hands... I should really do the responsible thing. Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The court will not hear the defendant's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial swift, but fair but swift. I believe I've told you this before, I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I have. I think. Yeah, we you can... see there, Swiss. If you if you look at chat, Mulgai is giving you the rundown of the can cannon. Uh, I for can Maya's check voice. I can oh, check is our. Oh, that what uh... happened to her? Okay. I'm gonna check Mr. our. Mr. Bain, your opening statement, please. So I've got a cell phone. I found this in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means or how that, it got there. At the end of game one, um. Uh, Maya leaves. Spoiler for the end of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> uh, or the first gay attorney. Maya, like, leaves to go finish her, like, spiritual training. Um, and so our canon that we established at that point was that 
her train is gonna cure her of fo Burger King foot lettuce voice. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, Dustin's off. So if you want to the whole game up until that point? What? I'm surprised you stuck with it that long. I stuck with it for a long time, frankly. It was fun to say Nick. Then eventually, I, I actually got bored towards the end. So the cannon's kind of flimsy at best. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Nylar. So You've listed basically nothing. Apparently, Phoenix got clocked by some douchebag with a fire extinguisher and has forgotten everything. Right before a trial. So yeah, we've got a cell phone and we don't know what it's about. We've got Dustin's autopsy report. Time of death 9 6 is 6 28 p.m. Cause broken neck. Body was also covered in bruises. And we've got a pair of glasses. Is it updated? Pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. This isn't Edgeworth, this is Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor! And I'm sure you're well aware the defendant is accused of killing her lover. <laughs> What's worse? Her lover was a fellow police officer! <gasps> the scandal! A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me! And besides, Dustin and I... We weren't lovers like that! In any case, this case... The prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant! Yeah, sorry. The first case of every game is a fucking pain. Very well. <laughs> Mr. Bain, please call your first witness. Hee hee hee! It's been a while, Mr. Wright. Did I do Toad before? I thought I did. Because I he, sounded, he's, he does like... Objection! Yeah, his, his, his know, objection man. is real screechy. That was like episode one. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and I thought I went full one. in on the screech. Okay, we're good. Let's see what you've learned since last time! I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie! Okay, and who are you again? <laughs> the prosecution calls Detective... Fuck! Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand! Oh my god, Dick Gumshoe's here, thank god. Here we go! Don't let Number me down, 15. Mr. Wright! Nowhere Number to hide. Life. I'm so dead. We're 15. Well, the good news is, Phoenix, they don't usually also put the pro the defense attorney to death. <laughs> so... Yeah. Witness, you're you're probably fine. Your name and you'll just be responsible for an innocent woman's murder. <laughs> you'll, you'll just yeah, be disgraced. That's fine. Eptar's eyes are bugging out. Ah, fine. I'll fix it. Alright, okay. I'm going to read. Please. <clears throat> My name is... Excuse me. I'm speaking, right? Swissy. God, why did we bring him <laughs> back? We could have gotten... We could have gotten... Any... We could have gotten the ghost of Owen Wilson. <laughs> we could have. Wow. Wow. Uh, My name is Dick Gumshoe, <laughs> sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. God, they're so mean to me. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so you know. You work under that detective? Yes, sir! And while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. Gumshoe! Please describe for us the details of this murder! The fucking pause in Gumshoe <laughs> got me. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters. Expose Park. Mm. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. Uh, he was pushed uh, down on I the benches. On the <laughs> I think I think I just now figured that one out, and I've played this game like four times. <laughs> I'll be okay. honest, I, I didn't get it. D like Dustin, Dustin Prince. Oh, like Dustin, Dustin Prince. Prince. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the instant you said Dustin, I got it. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Holy That's shit. That's pretty good. That's smart. <laughs> The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. Yeah, the landing. The details are listed in the report that is from the Yep. Ah, uh, yes! 
this autopsy report, correct? Is Why anyone not... gonna update it? Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of landing, sir. The results of the autopsy report confirmed the time of death. If I may, Your Honor! The prosecution would like to submit this photograph to Imgur.com! Very well, the court accepts this it into evidence. And Imgur.com. Crime Imgur. photo one. What is an Imgur? How do I get there? Crime photo one added to the court record. Do I need a Uber? <laughs> 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 now that I recall that yesterday's preliminary hearing... A bit, yeah, Nyla, you know the joke. Mm -hmm. A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor! Yes, sir. Yes, I guess? Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Um, was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. All right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. I already did. Court record. Yep. Info about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by pressing tab. Tab, huh? You really know what you're talking about, don't you? I'm just gonna... It was the... It was the glasses. It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aid instead. Mr. Right. Than any other legal aid we've had thus far. Yes, Your Honor? Court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can Snapchat find. Snapchat it or whatever. What was it again? Tab? <laughs> Alright, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? It was glasses. Glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A Baby broken glasses. pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed his gillis glasses as he was being shoved, sir. And held on to them as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Nah. Yes, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine, I swear, sir. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on that same day, I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. <laughs> Your Honor! There are a thousand ways you could have read that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst one. But also the most you likely. The worst Swiss, one. Swiss How many outcomes do I win in? One. <laughs> Swissy's incapable of fake laughter. We know this. I, I, shut up. I, I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? It just speaks to my uh, being genuine as a person. And this evidence is very decisive. Ugh. <sighs> Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. Witness testimony, decisive evidence. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the big victim's body, sir. New music. The... During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. My ass. I don't like saying it, but the, clearly the defendant's name was Maggie, sir. Uh, with this piece of evidence of the glasses, it's not hard to say she's the culprit. It, 
It's hard not. Yeah, whatever. Same difference. Same difference. <laughs> Listen, I don't read the lines. I skim the lines. Words come out of my mouth. They're not Isn't the same as on the screen. Writing, Your Honor. It never has been. Never will be. <laughs> Why this is? is? Why bother curling the G's? <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude snapped his neck and is dying, and he's just like, better make it look nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dot the eyes, curl the G's. I wish he had done the heart, the uh, like the dot and the heart eye, but a yeah. heart. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Yes, I can see her name was clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture, but this time... Understood. Okay. Is that also through you? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to go to Reddit? The yes! The court, yeah. the court accepts it in evidence. Crime photo 2 added to the court record. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious, the victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground! But, 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 I already told you, those glasses aren't mine! And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? He's gonna be like, cross-examine! This is it! I'm counting on you! Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? This isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witnesses' faces. Get in their faces and do what? I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand. The prosecution's witness... Prosecution's witnesses all hide things from the court. Which means they lie from time to time. Why? Tons of but bitches. isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Hmm, like that detective. He does sort of look like a scatterbrain. Hey, pal, <laughs> I can hear you. I'm like five feet away. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be alright. I'm gonna go look at our evidence again real quick and see what we got. Because I know it's not much at this point. Yeah, let's look oh, at the evidence. We have, a, we have a profiles tab, too. That's what I was thinking of. So we've got Oh, her name's different... spelled a different way. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking dusty. He spelled it I-E. Magay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's something. That's because like if he was really like if he's gonna write out a whole ass name, why would he spell it wrong? <laughs> right. That uh, doesn't make any fucking sense. Or, or are you saying he didn't know how to spell her name when they're apparently dating? Come on, come on. Make sure that's. Do you think the right he one? accidentally put the I and he was like, Objection. Oh, shit, hang on. Oh fuck. Too late to erase. This evidence it. clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence of the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Not at all. Am I going too fast? Sorry. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that one meaning. I'm going to deal oh, too damage fucking... to you. Wait. Managed to write the culprit's name. Let me try pressing instead. Hold it. Yeah, the culprit's press name? First. Hold it! Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but was the name of that my client? Was the name that of my client? I don't like saying it, but the oh. it was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. Hold it. I think we can present a but yeah, we you can, can present, present a profile. here. Ah, yeah, present yeah, yeah. here. Objection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Present her go. profile and be like, whoa, 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 Whoa. What, what is it? What? What's come over me? Without He's thinking, feeling just, it now. Without thinking, I just blurted out objection. And I yelled it at the top of my lungs, finger outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. What a rush! Detective Gumshoe. That's good, isn't it? 
Y you're talking to me, pal. Please state the defendant's name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer. The defendant's name, if you please. What? Wh where is this ridiculous question coming from? Well, I'm very sweaty. Away. The defendant's uh, name is uh, Maggie Bird. Hold it, bitch. I can see how you're spelling that in your I words. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird! Ah! Looks like the bird caught the cat napping. What? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> it's also you. Also, hello, Galax Store. I'm trying to interact with chat! I did that already. Someone's gotta do it! Well, I wasn't paying attention. Fair. <laughs> hello, Galax Store. Story. Listen, I I have enough trouble. There, now reading. we've all done it. <laughs> we've all we've all slowly read a name. Oh hey, Good the job. stream started. Shut the what? fuck up. <laughs> so, see, I will actually I will find I will find you, and I will just ah. push you down a flight of stairs. Ha! Jokes on you. There are no flights of stairs here. Oh, you tell me you never interact with stairs ever, ever. Someday uh, you will. I, I wouldn't call it a flight. More Listen. Like a, I don't care how stairs. many stairs there are. I don't care if it's a fucking train ride of stairs. More like I'll a brief hover of stairs. <laughs> I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave a name, Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. Don't think <laughs> about that. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Not helpful to say aloud. Oh! How about that? I hadn't even noticed. I'm never ever... But, but, but. Have I been but missing maybe the victim did not have spelled name correctly. Objection! May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? <laughs> lover. If, the true, if they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have not known her name. No! This is true. Mr. Payne? Sweats. Yes, Your Honor? Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Yes, I am quite certain, Your Honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Y yes, sir. Duster and Maggie. I'm totally testimony. staring, aren't I? Thank you for the shit. Hold up. Follow Galaxy Rui. <laughs> I had to scoop. I, I had to scoot the game out <laughs> Thank of the way. You for it was the blocking. Shit. It was blocking the notification. We appreciate the shit. Thank you for coming to Thank our stream shitting. and shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for shitting. Perfect. We're happy to have had you. Yeah, I think it's bird. Yeah, it's bird, not bird. bride. Bird. bird, because she's got all the feathers. Listen, the ah. localized names are just puns. <laughs> they are all puns. Maybe yeah, the original ones. Also the original ones bird. are probably also puns. They're just different. It's probably also. Pun it's probably puns all the way down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You welcome for the puns. shit all the time. Mm. <clears throat> Officer Prince and Officer Bird have been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. marriage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, had gotten the Officer Prince a present. It was something she had brought over, bought over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. I said beef jerky. <laughs> Big jerk. <laughs> As I always oh. do in any situation. <laughs> As I always do. No matter the what the question, beef jerky. No, what, no matter what the right question answer. you come to me, you're like, "Hey, detective, comes to you. What? What do I invest my money in for my 401k?" And I'm like, "Beef jerky, obviously." <laughs> it's always right. Oh, those two. <laughs> those two sound like they were close. 
Nevertheless, tragedy struck. <laughs> yeah, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Dustin and Maggie cross-examination. Mm. This prince has been going out for about half a year. Sounded like they were talking about marriage. I don't have the guide open right now, so I'm just going on instinct. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why you weren't just immediately skipping to the answer. I had gotten off the prince a present. What was it? Hold it! What was it? You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even what she was going to give as a present? Isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal. Watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much as scratches their... I really don't need to balls. know that If I anyone really goes down there for a little... For a little bit of a... Objection! I want to know! <laughs> Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness! I agree! Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, <laughs> that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty, guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. It was something she had bought over two months ago. What was it? Hold it! What was it? <laughs> over two months Hold ago? It. She's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? The murder whip. I'm actually, Your Honor. The glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. That was a very Boko way of bringing that to light. <laughs> the Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove? Hmm. Press further. Press further. Just now, I believe you said that the present was something she had bought over two months ago. Yeah. You're saying Baseball she bought the glove at the store that two months ago. Are you saying she brought the glove at the store that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made. The glove was custom made. That's what I said. With my mouth. <laughs> mm, so the glove was custom made. <laughs> Your Honor, I, I really don't see how this glove is related to the case. Yes, it would seem that there's little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to this case? Probably. Of course. It, of course. It's I don't relevant. know where this will lead me, but of course <laughs> it is relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Well, <laughs> yes, fluffy to the max. <laughs> now this is the Mr. Right I know. Just fucking sp spitting shit off the top of his dome. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great. Hmm, pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. As if I used to do this to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped people. Mm. Very well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about the matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And? Why didn't you stay so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to the court! Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. So why'd you bring it? Oh my god, <laughs> look at that glove! What? Well, that's just bananas. Why is it a banana? <laughs> it's literally a bunch it's of bananas. It's a bunch of bananas. Uh, this is it, sir. It's, uh... Rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball that... glove added to the court record. Well, Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had to special it... order it? Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. It's a left-handed glove. I think this court has heard enough. It's left-handed glove and he wrote with his right hand in the message, so like... Yeah. It's, it's clear that the defendant and the victim and defendant were involved with each other. I was, uh, I used to be a baseball guy, so I could, uh... <laughs> well, right, because that, that was a... It was a glove for a right hand. Yes. Which left-handed people would use. Yes. Because you, you only, you glove your off hand. See, I also yeah, know this, not because I was a baseball guy, because I've seen the game baseball ever. <laughs> yes, that's correct, Your Honor! <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> 
Now that's true, it brings up an important question. Wink. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about the name of the car. Yes, sir. It's because you wouldn't throw with your offhand. It wouldn't be as good in any measurable That's way. That's fair, Galax Store. <laughs> it, it, it would be, it would be score it, shots it, with it, either hand. Are you ambidextrous Baseball or shots. are you lying? <laughs> I get score shots with either <laughs> hand. I just had a picture of Swissy walking into a bar and just like shooting finger guns. I don't know why, but that was very clear in my mind. Writing on the ground. What's new pussycat playing on the jukebox? <laughs> <laughs> we first looked into the handwriting. Shot, shot, Unfortunately, shot. we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Uh, 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 Objection! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Oh, uh, baby! Right? <laughs> you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Cross-examination, mm. writing on the ground. Get him. Get him on it. First handwriting, unfortunately, pointer finger. There were scratches. Wrote the name with his life ha left hand. Fucking diddy, though, because it's a left-handed glove. Objection! Mm, I oh. shot that. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. That's the, the glove, right? Could you tell the, the court what is you? special about this glove? <laughs> uh, what's special? Uh, never really thought about it, but... Uh... It's really yellow. <laughs> and that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. <laughs> huh? There's another reason why it's special. Did, did you just crack yourself up by the way you said qualities? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's also the really fucking <laughs> wild way that he's explaining this and just said, instead of just saying it's a left-handed glove. <laughs> Yeah, he's literally pacing it out. He wants to drag out this yellow fucking glove as long as he can. Uh, <clears throat> and what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right! This glove is made to be one on the right hand. That is why it had to be custom made. I have never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale. Have you... <laughs> well, um, no. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Don't forget that the victim was left handed. Ugh! Ah! This is. That is. I mean, I. <laughs> Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Well, that's not true. Therefore... Well, not not, uh, not no. a nice, neat one, probably. The person who wrote the, the name Maggie Jesus. could not have been the victim. That, and they spelled it wrong, too. They also spelled know? it wrong. They also spell it wrong. When you think about it that way, then yes. It's just not possible that the name was written by the victim himself. Then that means Maggie is. That's exactly what the victim wants you to think. No! It's not possible! Mr. Payne! I, 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 yeah? Your Honor? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have been proven her to be innocent. Son of a bitch! God damn it! All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Phew, I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Ah, uh, well, thank you, sir. 
See? You got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. Fuck this shit. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Brad. No! Not yet! Excuse me? I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Why? What, <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Mr. Gonna, Payne? I have a knife! I'm gonna go fucking get an updated autopsy report right now! <laughs> I, I love it if he like, he's like, like, he like, I'll he's do like, it! He's like, give me one minute! And he runs off to a Kinko's and he like, prints the fucking paper, but in reverse. And he's like, see? Left hand! And it's just Maggie still backwards. <laughs> e <-gam. laughs> the prosecution is not finished yet! What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness! What? Two witnesses, but this is a tutorial. Bullshit. And what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. Which means they're almost certainly the murderer. Ruiz. Oh, definitely. Ruiz. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Order! Order in the court! I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm, I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. There's only gonna, yeah, it's only gonna get tougher from here. Yeah. Court adjourned for recess. Oh, Dibs on the slide. I call the swings. Is it is, is that pronounced Rui? <laughs> Rui, I assume, yeah. Actually, might know Rui, who this I is. assume. Hey, wait, what? I might know who this is. I think they're from one of the servers I'm in. Nice. You don't need the Galax store part. All right. September eighth, eleven forty-three a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Hey, 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 Rui! I see you got a nice little uh, Twitch Prime there. You wanna, you know, you wanna <laughs> swing a little my way? <laughs> so, so, can you not immediately shill to our new viewers? <laughs> Fucking holy fuck! <laughs> There's a town close to mine called Pain. Oh, that is a fun fact. It's even spelled like him. I already rolling with Prime. I ain't gonna ask shit of you. God, that's not even a Prime badge, is it? I just see a VIP. <laughs> nah, the Crown wants a Prime badge. Oh, I don't see the Crown badge. Mom's a Prime badge. I'm calling you out. Hey, oh, fucking subscribe. <laughs> God, so it's, you cause me physical pain every day. <laughs> Clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Our first Please stream was read. so good. Please just read. I can't. I just know he's gonna say something fucking stupid when I start. <laughs> Bet. Uh. Just mute it. Amnesia? Yo. <laughs> I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. I, uh. Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all <laughs> you need. Uh, oh. no, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on. I I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Now my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problems first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Ah, well, I guess we'll start with my name, and then I can tell you about me. No, 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 that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So, my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. Hmm. This is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. Eh? This is a business, business card. card? Yes, Rui, and you do indeed. I got this from- oh wow, Oh, Look at how happy she is! Yeah. 
Also, why does she, why, I know the, the, because of the bird nickname, but why does she have so many feathers? Just feathers stapled to her uniform in just, various places, just yeah. stapled to, like, you is that, when you need to take off, my dude. Is that standard policeman garb? No. I don't think we've seen any other policemen's like this. Did she no. bring those from home? No, to, no, Josh, but to be fair, the last couple policemen we met were dressed like a cowboy and a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one was, was a lunch lady. Former that's, police that's officer. Fair. That's fair. And but Jake the other Marshall one is in a league of his own. <laughs> Jake, Jake Marshall is. A, don't bring Jake Drake Marshall, Marshall and into Neil this. Neil Marshall both dressed like cowboys. Bruce Goodman did dress like Al Capone, to be fair, and Gant dressed like a terrifying youth pastor or something. <laughs> Damn. So I missed a lot. You did miss a lot, Swissy. Think about it. <clears throat> I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay, there's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. Phoenix's business card added to the court record. It's my business card. I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. I guess for now we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? <laughs> um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm... Yeah, I think she's also kind of cute, Nylar. Yeah. She's very, she very, she's very helpful. I can't think of anything other than the incident with that yeah. cell phone, but cell phone. Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. <gasps> Hurry up and tell me then. This might be very important. Okay, Roger. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Oh no, the blue badger! Mm. Oh no! Mm. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Beep. Um, hello? I'm a sheep. He said beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone, whoever this is. Is this yours? Well, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. <gasps> That's how he knew the name was Maggie, but he spelled it wrong. Motherfucker. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up. But they never did. Hmm. So where's the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it that phone in my pocket? You mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... I don't know who this is. Uh, I think You were here all along! Gumshoe, maybe? Oh, it's Maya. Oh, it's Maya. There you go, Swissy. Yeah! Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh boy! I mean, I'm not gonna. Do this it. is this is uh, both mine and Swissy's first time, but I think Steven played all of the Ace Attorneys. Yeah, I've I've played them all. Yeah, three, multiple Rui. times. Yeah, I've I've never played them. Steven just has a bad memory, so sometimes. All right, we we got a few people in the chat. Let's get a poll. Is is my Burger King foot lettuce or no. is she normie? No. Yeah, it's not, I, I'm I'm a fan of not doing the Burger King foot all lettuce. Right. All right, that's fair. Because there's a strong chance you're not going to be here, and then Josh has to do it. <laughs> True. I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up. And when I went to check out the courtroom, everyone had already left. I like how he doesn't know her name, ah, even though it's clearly the, Maya. Now, who in the heck is this? I guess I'm supposed to know <laughs> this girl, too. Heck? We'll just tell her. Hey, good morning, Maggie. And a good morning to you, too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? She's the queen of burgers, but god, that would be tiring to listen to. <laughs> and guess what, Rui? Yeah. It was. It and was. I was the one that had to do the voice for a few episodes, and I got tired of it. Fucking got him. I was only there for three episodes, and I fucking made him do it the whole time. The yep, plow. Swissy is like a goddamn ancient curse. <laughs> Shows up briefly, and then just causes horrible outcomes for, for like, weeks to follow. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Normie. See? See? Chat's on our side too, Swissy. That's Got hot. him. Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Yes. It's called Swissy. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. The hesitation with, uh, it, it made it hurt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right, it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra-decisive, super-important evidence. Here you are, Nick. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, well, You can thanks. still say Nick like that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alex, I'll allow it. It is, is the most fun way to say Nick. <laughs> I, have, I, have so, I have a co-worker that's named Nick, and I have to stop myself from saying <laughs> Nick like that. Like, like a I, fucking coward? Yeah. You fucking coward. Cause Josh works Dude, in like my Josh boss. works in like a professional <laughs> place it. of business. Just... I have to. I have to maintain <laughs> some standards. Do it and don't draw attention to it. Listen. It'll be really funny. No. To whom? <laughs> to me. The other tax accountants. <laughs> yeah. You up there? They've got a sense of humor, right? Uh, what do you want me to record <laughs> it and so you know I did it? <laughs> It has about yeah. 20 people's names <laughs> and phone numbers written on it. Oh, it's still me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up the night. What the fuck? It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... What? <laughs> There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Nameless added to the court. How would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Mm -hmm. And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? Nope. <laughs> You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday. Nah, fight oh. extinguisher to the Is dome. Is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. So that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nyak. <laughs> Start making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I'm about to uh, I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. Rude. Um, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is. Mr. Wright, recess ancient, is now over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops. Guess you have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nyak. She's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck. We have this person who's so encouraging and everything, and Maya comes back and is like, what's up, dipshit? I got that list of dumbass numbers you wanted. What's up, you old fucking corpse? <laughs> Surprised they let you shamble on in here. <laughs> what's up, you one-foot-in-the-grave-ass-looking motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know skeletons were allowed to attend court. <laughs> 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 Yo! <laughs> I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. <laughs> now what's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Y yeah. September. 8th. I love that they wanted to like give a tutorial again, yeah. and they're like mm, court court amnesia. <laughs> That's how we'll do it. Mm, amnesia. The <clears throat> court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Bain. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. You may not. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Bain? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. <laughs> so I ask that the court might be a little lenient on. <clears throat> There's no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls us next witness. A drifter who was taking a walk in the park <laughs> on the drifter. day of the murder. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's mm. douche man. Please douche take nozzle. Please the court, witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Oh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Mm. 
Hmm, yes. Perhaps there's a drifter who was Yo, taking is it a Is just walk. me, or does this guy look like he could like be a minor duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. He does. Did I? Like, like a one-episode villain that Yu-Gi just, just curb stomps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the tor- The tort size! <laughs> the tort- <laughs> oh, no, the, the tort will never look at us the same. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't. Oh fuck, it's not. Uh -oh, oh, it's I'm broken. not doing this. Okay. Uh, I'm really looking, I'm really looking for that perfect top notch, unbeatable. I have a rigorous. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, the stream also lagged for me, the Discord uh, yeah, stream. Yeah, same. Right when that started, I so that was that. very sudden. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm very you sorry. Like I will be more That's what it is, on. Nylar. How does Pegasus talk? Is it like, ah, yes. Yugi boy. boy. You can have a boy. Yugi. Just, just use that as your like your key phrase. Yugi just go boy. like, just go like, mm, Yugi boy, and then you have that color your entire speech. Hmm, yes. You yeah, introduce my, my wonderful self to the court. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this is me. Voice. What is he? A human chatterbox? Uh, Apparently, I have to question for him. Streams end too. Yeah, it looks like it cut out for a little bit, but it seems to be fine now. Oof. He sucks. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need to apply. Glasses? Wait. But you aren't wearing glasses. <laughs> Shut up. That's enough! Your name, witness! <laughs> I can do that too. Oh. Is that how you want to play this? Yes, this is a court of law. Using your power and influence to keep the young people down? I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. Well. Sorry, it won't happen again. Oh man. One foot in the grave ass looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Alright. I suppose I can tell you my name. Yugi boy. I oh, of course, Richard it's Richard Wellington. Wellington. Richard Wellington. The drifting virtuoso with that the means his name is also Dick if you short. <laughs> Dick Wellington. Dick Wellington. But unlike Dick Gumshoe, this guy's is <laughs> accurate. If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Is this how people view Zoomers? Yeah, this is how I view Zoomers. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> Listen, my little brother's a Zoomer. Sometimes I just I'm like try to toad, try to try to figure out what he's up to. I'm just like, what do you guys do? The weirdest thing is when he's telling me that he and his friends like communicate almost exclusively through like Snapchat and Instagram. And I was like, what? Like, what if you want to reference the message again? He's like, you just uh. don't. It's like right. you can. He's like in Snapchat, you can pin it if you really want to. And I'm like, this is so weird. And I went back to my Facebook Messenger. And I was like, <laughs> not for me, sir. I'm over here. Not today. <laughs> uh, I anyways. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> On the day of the murder, you were taking a shit! Uh, er, strolling through the park, correct? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just three uh, down, you asshole. <laughs> I'm laughing! Because I thought I was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I told a good joke. I'm laughing at it. Shut you. up. What don't you understand? I am my own best audience. Uh, it's true. It would appear that you are attached to that word. If you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy. Out on a walk with mommy. <laughs> if you must know, I am... Anyway, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. You know, you... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this shit for... <laughs> well, you, you got Nylar. You got Nylar to laugh, so congrats, Swissy. Good Welcome back to the stream in full. I got Nylar and good myself for, to laugh. Good That's for you. you. Look who's good Mr. Funny Britches on the stream. Oh, <sighs> good for you. What a douche. Uh... <clears throat> What you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington. What I saw that day, witness testimony. What I saw that day. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. That means post-morning. 
All of a sudden, the police officer <laughs> falls from a phone <laughs> right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. It was love at first sight. Of course I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. Yugi boy. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. <laughs> the fucking banana. <clears throat> That was certainly a decisive testimony. He does look a little bit like a, an adult a douchey or Gundam. Decisive? A Gundam that went prep Next. instead Did of Did you golf. hear what he just said? Yeah. Yeah? Gundam? Like mobile suit? Nah, dude. Dong and Rob. Uh, That's uh, all you have to say? How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client. I must be a Richter main. You mean Maggie? Yes, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying! <laughs> you might question the witness, Mr. Ryan. I'll find out the truth no matter how well you craft your lies. You dumb slut. Mm. Park deep in Hard. thought. Well past 6 p.m. Let me check the... Gun to ham. But I do believe it was past 6 p.m. Let me check you have boy. some times. Yugi boy. Yeah, time, boy. Time of death. Yugi boy. So You'll have to duel me into submission. Right. A police officer falls from above. Without a thought, I looked up. We don't do this. And of course, I remember her sweet face. We don't. We don't. Re, we don't reread the green text, by the way. The only other thing I saw was a banana. So see. Hold so see, it. you're breaking the rules. The you're breaking the rules. The banana. Yeah, it was like ooh banana. You know, like dog. <laughs> I was like, I, w I was, I went really all monkey on it, as the kids say. <laughs> 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 Reject modernity. <laughs> Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. Now, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? <laughs> <laughs> <Fucking hell. laughs> Why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. Uh, I'm not That's over really this yet. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch this, of bananas. This fucking stupid banana side path is so <laughs> stupid. He's lying about the banana. That's it, Nick. He's got to be lying about the banana. <laughs> he could be, but there's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at the crime scene. What if it's not a lie? <laughs> well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else. Oh. If this took something else for a bunch of bananas, then that would be an inaccuracy. <laughs> think, Phoenix, think. My client is innocent. There's no way he could have seen what he says he did. Which means if we could somehow show he's lying. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. She's right. She's got a sharp mind, but I wish I could just remember who she is. He was a Yiga clan member. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is everything okay, Nick? All of a sudden, without a thought. I'm, ass I I'm assuming I have to present the glove here. On the banana. <laughs> Objection! Banana. <laughs> Oh yeah, monkey boy? Is this your bunch of bananas? <laughs> Mr. Wellington. Or like, you're telling I a bunch I of lies. I believe I have the bananas you saw, right here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? Why is there a hole? rambling. <laughs> but don't you think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me? And that's where you'd be wrong. Mr. I, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Oh, wait, am I the dumb one? Huh? Whoa, 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 what? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? <laughs> <laughs> That's... This is so stupid. That's not... It's a... No! Dude, this guy's gonna crack Your over Honor, this. I think this just proves being one like... very important fact. This witness loves bananas. Loves knows bananas. Nothing about Do it! No, it's, Swissy, it's, has, it's has it has bad eyesight. Loves bananas. Because he has to wear glasses. Swissy, we lose his glasses. Points. They're if crushed. We, we lose points if we're wrong in yeah, this you, game. You lose points. I do. Because I don't want to Swissy. fail. Because then we have to start over from the last checkpoint. How many points have you lost so far? One. 
There you go. You're a fucking coward. Especially so normally I'm on your side, but like... But it would have been really funny, though. But, By the yeah. way, just how bad are your eyes? Bad enough. <laughs> huh? How? What? You? Why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. <laughs> is it? Are you Are you sure about? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Objection overruled. I'd even once think those are bananas. <laughs> you, you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. You're like those people oh, who boy. refuse to accept Galileo. You're too used to your world to view new possibilities. Sure. Can we find out the glove is not bananas, but when viewed from afar? And that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. They're both 2200. I suppose Jesus. you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? It's quite oh bad. Oh my god. That's, that's quite, quite awful. bad. That's incredibly bad. <laughs> what? Why are you not wearing your glasses today then? Oh. Uh, but not. Um. That's because I lost them recently. He could just say contacts, you fool. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so they were. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? How about it, witness? You are an unrelenting evil man. You're like those it's, people oh who rejected God. Joan of Arc. She was brave and courageous, something to cut the horrible people. Oh, she didn't do anything wrong. But Which she... boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at that time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the crime scene and that of the defendant cannot be proven to the be the same by this witness. That was weirdly phrased. Uh, but the well, height difference is only some, nine feet! I'm glad you got some assistance there, Ruby. It's very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. Are you he sure? He couldn't tell that this mm. glove was bananas from like two feet away. Mm. No! No, he, he was unable to see the bananas. <laughs> Please be more accurate in your testimony. If anything, Remember, I saw the bananas. <laughs> A person's life is at stake. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. Oh yeah, that's the worst, is when I misplace my glasses and then I have to try to find my glasses while not being able to fucking see because I don't have my glasses. I'm Impossible. Glad, I'm glad my vision's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty rough, but luckily I've got two eyes. And only one of them. I don't bad. know what my like. I don't know what my vision is out of like twenty or whatever. I just know mine's fairly bad because my glasses are real thick. <laughs> and when I get the the description written out, it was like a pretty high negative number. I think one was like minus eight or minus nine, which I think is pretty high. Girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there with her bananas. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. <clears throat> so the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is the murderer! You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Okay. I think I remember what I need to press on here. The girl is on the Isn't upper it the path. 645 thing? After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 645 when I made the call. That's... Isn't there, like, a yeah. log of when... Is Paul there a log? He died at 628, so no, it was fucking, like, time. 20 minutes later. Yeah. Uh, I can't actually... That's what I this. think. Yeah, and, and the calls that were made, like, is listed, right? Uh, I don't think no, that's it's just it. A, this is just a number of... No, a list oh. of numbers, and this is just yeah. the phone. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it's the fact that it's, like, a good 13 minutes later. Or yeah. After that, more I than that. I'm gonna call the police station to report the crime. Press on these two and see what happens. Uh, Hold I it. Keep forgetting immediately. Did you immediately? As in... as in immediately. I mean, sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but... 
That's the duty of every good citizen, to report murder. Or did they not teach that at your pitiful school? You think people learn about how to call people, call the police in college? Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court record for a sec. Eh? Yeah, it's literally, okay. Eh? Immediately. Must uh, have been sick for uh, I'll do this one real quick just to be sure. Hold it. I'm pretty sure it's that last one though. How do you know what time it was? That detective told me. You know which one I mean. The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school. Hey, pal! I graduated from a pretty cool... I mean, top-ranked college. <laughs> I don't believe this. Doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken on what time I called. Okay, so then, yeah, the previous one is the lie. Gum, gum shoe fr Gumshoe from the other side of the courtroom stops eating beef jerky for half a second. Uh, hey! <laughs> and if I am wrong, then hey. that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why you? You're just some lousy kid who... I think the court could see your point. Anyway, how did the police oh. respond? I believe. With violence? <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's gonna be... They showed up so and they started one. shooting the corpse. Objection! They arrested the bunch of bananas. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, would you oh, please no. take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to okay. this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? Ah! I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during that 15-minute gap. Definitely not writing Maggie with a... I was eating dead man's fingers. Uh, I was trying to eat the bananas that I'd found, but they tasted like leather. <laughs> <laughs> the witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Objection. For 15 minutes. 15 minutes like is hardly ass. what I would call a little dazed. <laughs> Mr. Wellington... Yes. Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Hmm. B bananas. Answer the question. I, uh, telephone. Uh, I mean. Spit it out. I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? It's, it's 2002. Everybody's got a cell phone. Well, even I've got one of these. He pulls out one of those big ones with the big numbers on it. The bag phone. You and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers of Matryoshka doll. You must think you're really something special. I keep expecting it to go off into the tangent. Witness! Same. I lost my cell phone. There, are you? You lost it? Why did it stop? Uh-oh. I think my computer may have frozen. Hold up. The Happy? Big back. Oh, it froze. Uh-oh. There that we go. Thing. We're back. Remember this game was, uh, it was in the future, but I don't think it... But I think it's not anymore. It's in the future of the past. Oh, yeah, you're right. Unbelievable. You, you lose your glasses and your cell phone? I mean, we're not here for that. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever heard of that old genius have a quirk or two, so by that rationale I should have my own quirk? I don't think so. people like you would understand- Enough! <laughs> oh man, oh man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone? Nick? That cell phone? <laughs> Could it be? You mean this phone Maggie found? What, There's no way. What possessed you to read the line like that? Boy, I, I, that, that Boy, I didn't see this coming. Now. What should I do now? Question further. Get his ass. Mr. Back Wellington. Off. Get him. Where is your cell phone Drag right him. now? <laughs> cell phone? Never heard of it. What are you all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone, I'll have you know. See, here is it. Oh, I see. Is what that said. 
Hmm, looks like he's got his phone. I thought that just maybe this was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have a cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by a search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put that in what the... Fuck. I... Ah. Do you have any further <laughs> questions, Mr. A? There is something. Your Honor, There's the witness's something. testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Uh. Uh. Was it one of the. Was it one of the photos, maybe? Oh, right, he died right fucking next check? to a phone booth, I'm pretty sure. Hold yeah, on. wasn't he right was next to a phone right booth? There. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> it's <laughs> right <Yeah>. fucking there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like that, that everyone in I, I get it's for the game, but I like that everyone in court fucking forgets instantly. And so they're like, oh look, there is a phone booth right fucking there. Smack Literally in the right middle there. of that photo. It's quite simple actually. Please take a look at this. Oh, I really wanted to say look at this photograph. I know, I was oh, waiting for it. Look at that photograph. At the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. Phone booth. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something is wrong with you. <laughs> no! It's... it's... a phone booth! That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, blind. why did you not use banana. the phone that was right in front of you? <laughs> or... <laughs> I thought what? it was a big metal banana. <laughs> <laughs> water, water! Yeah, he said, ooh, like, you know, he's reverting to monkey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Banana. Oh, yeah. What? This is reverting to crime a little late proof for their defense! Objection! Glad our, glad our humor has not progressed since Unga Bunga levels. <laughs> Unga yeah. Bunga. The witness cannot, can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. <laughs> Real Ooga Booga. <laughs> that is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Uh, ooga Booga. <laughs> then I bet this phone is really his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him, so there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Oh, he may have been worried about the list of contacts that was on it. Hmm, but if he wasn't looking for his cell phone... Maybe he was looking for something else? Was he? Mr. Wright. Glasses, I bet. Yes, Your Honor? Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing those 15 minutes? I have an idea. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, only one idea. possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, we were warned that your explanation is not persuasive. You will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Please present to the court the one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? He was looking for his Glaze. glasses. They were underneath the cop's body, proving that he was there. Cop's Take body. that. Mr. Wellington. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What? Wellington. Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? <laughs> Ah, where, where did you find... Ah. I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. 
I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Uh, under the victim's body? I have like a record of how often I've said order or after all these games. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll just go also, ahead. you not. Oh. Yeah, I didn't hear <laughs> it. Are you not. Uh... No, oh, wait see. a second. Hold on. I see. I didn't confess or confirm anything. Your Honor, I think the answer is he quite kind clear. Of did, here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize is that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. M Mr. Wright, are you... Are you in... Indicting the witness as the real murderer? I don't know why indict is spelled like that. It's weird. The C is completely that unnecessary. That is weird. I blame Latin. Of course, that or is precisely Rome. what I am doing. Or Greece. This is the new fucking corner of music, by the way. <laughs> oh, hey, that's, hey, hang on, Steven. So or, not Steven, sorry, Swissy. Yeah. Enough, uh, no, no monkey for a bit. I want to jam for a second. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, continue. <laughs> I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. He went all monkey mode. <laughs> Did you figure it out? Yeah. More or less. Turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. Holy shit. I'll sink Ooh, him in one six. shot. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. What does that mean? This monkey. is so exciting watching you work again. The word monkey does not have any right to be as as hilarious as it is. <laughs> but it is. It's just so funny. It's a monkey. Monkey. Somehow my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is the monkey I've been waiting for. Order! Order! I'm never! Your Honor! The defense! The defense is making a mockery of this court! A monkey of this court! Without any solid ground to stand on! He accuses the witness of being the murderer, just like in the first fucking game! Yeah! That's right. I'm no criminal. This third-rate fraud of a lawyer. Thank you, everyone. In that case, in the why chat. don't we look at it from a different perspective? Thank you. We got What's your explanation as to why now? you are not the murderer? <laughs> why that's that's easy. Um. Ah. Uh, for example, there's some <laughs> the name of. It. <laughs> what about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, even an idiot like you can read that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. Spell it wrong. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground? But, but, but... Wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would that person know her name was Maggie, or Maggie? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. The witness didn't even know Mrs. Bird before these... Ah, I trials. forgot. Hmm, was there any way this creep could have known Maggie beforehand? There was a way! There is a way. It would be best when if he I could prove the, the cell phone. to learn. The defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? Yeah. How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Fucking phone. Cell phone. phone. Take that! Uh, Mr. Wellington. I used to call you on my cell phone. You didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you? How did you? Your Honor! These questions have nothing to do with... <clears throat> oh. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there's some relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? 
I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. So maybe he freaked out when he saw a police officer there? Probably, right? Yeah, that was when you because learned that her name he was, was in... Maggie. Yeah, go on. He was in out he was in uniform and she wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Uh oh. Mm. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This makes no sense when you read it out loud. It's a mistake that could only occur if you knew was how if all you knew was how her name sounded. What? No, your life is eek. That doesn't... If order, you, if you order. Were, if you'd only heard the name Maggie, you would probably assume it was spelled the way that he spelled it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. the IE, because that's much more I got confused in the context of the game. <laughs> yeah. I read yeah. the order line, by the way. But by your order! The witness has no motive! Uh, 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 uh. And your point is? <laughs> It's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. You know, you don't Therefore, actually need a motive. People. You don't need to prove a motive most of the time in murder cases. I think what? it can help with, like, proving first degree, but... Are you fucking serious? I've been doing this yeah. job for, what, 30, 40 years? <laughs> and then they're, they're just now telling you this shit? <laughs> no one's ever told me! Mario! <laughs> Mario! Mario! <laughs> oh, no. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright? Your Honor? Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Don't have Your to, Honor. but sure. Oh, the smug face. He knows. Are you sure? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? <laughs> She's like, are you sure about this? He's like, no, but I don't want to be fucking done. <laughs> yeah, but... And then she gives him this face. Now then, please present to this court proof that the witness had a motive. I'll put your health bar up on the screen so you know I'm serious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the list of names, right? That makes it's sense. the list of names, yeah. yeah. It's gotta be the list of names. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you present your attorney's badge. <laughs> <laughs> it was because he knew that I would find him guilty. <laughs> i take that. Nice. Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled a from list. the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You, Illuminati. you looked up all the monkey numbers? The of monkey! Course. This list of phone numbers was stored on the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist's group. What? 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 Con artist? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Willington? This... this is an outrage! An invasion of privacy! Kinda true. He should have said privacy like a fucking douchebag. Looking up the Wait, phone numbers on a person's privacy. phone is a worse crime than murder! Is it? You're one of those people. You're just like the cops who rated the brilliant artist, whatever his name was. The district or the genius of the... I don't care, Mr. Wellington! All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this, this is this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. I'm having a great time badgering this guy. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is, looking into the group, a victim of that a group. A member of that, of that group. group. He's a con man. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. Thank you, Swissy. Yeah. 
No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is too much! <laughs> that doesn't make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I... um... I... I got you now. I... I... that... I... Ooh. That police officer! He's like slowly reverting to monkey. <laughs> Your honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? <laughs> Did you know I'm related to T-Pain? Your honor, this this is unjustified badgering of the witness! You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. P -p 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 please Please, let's think about the content of that phone call! Beep. Let's not. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the Oh, no, phone. he's making a cogent point. Oh, no. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why, then, would he need to kill anyone? Because he saw a cop holding the phone. He got freaked out. Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the Vents think about this? Hmm, if you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, you know, like Taco let's Bell. see. Maybe that slimeball <laughs> saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his son, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Banana Talk about taco. now selling well, bananas. Mr. What was the something that didn't agree with the witness? It what do we present to show the cop that being in not, uniform? Just oh, it's just him. his profile? Yeah, I That makes sense. Yeah. Take that! What Mr. Justin Wellington Prince. saw was the victim. The, the, the victim? You mean Taco Justin Bell Prince? now selling bananas. Oh. Oh. Justin that Prince means midnight gone. banana. Fourth <laughs> meal. Fourth meal banana. Fourth meal banana. Sorry. Get on your A -game Justin Wendy's Prince had Taco gone Bell on a date right. right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Got him. Oh. 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 <laughs> The girl that picked up my this phone is, is with you. the policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was a possible it was possible they had already run a check on the phone. Mexican monk. And he went into a panic, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Does Monko have monkeys? Does South That's America have monkeys? I, do, I imagine South America- Where are America's, monkeys in the world? The rainforest, I assume, has monkeys. You, hey, mo hey, monkeys, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> to, our mo to, all the, to all the monkeys that have learned how to use twitch.television and are watching, watching us. Stream and are watching with... us. <laughs> no, let, it, let us know in the comments down below. Where you at, monkeys? <laughs> Well, Ruby, who is clearly not a monkey, is in Texas. We've learned this. <laughs> mm. Nyla is near a town called Pain. <laughs> I know ah. this. This monkey isn't. Pain. This isn't getting to my. <laughs> hang on, one second. Hang on, I'm I'm pausing the stream for one moment. Uh huh. To right. search. Does South America have monkeys? <laughs> this is vital. <laughs> Quickly, distract the audience. They yeah. do! Yeah, I assumed so. New world monkeys. The whole, the I whole can't believe it. The whole fucking rainforest is down there. The monkeys, that's what I know, but like, I couldn't remember. Like, uh, yeah, because there are howler monkeys in the rainforest. Yeah. I was trying to think of, like, if I specifically ever recalled learning about monkeys in the rainforest first. 
And I think the only ones I've specifically learned about are howler monkeys, because those are the loud bastards. They're just real, uh, pa real noisy boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Clearly not a monkey. You don't know that. That's true. I actually cannot prove that any of the people in this stream, either on voice call or in the chat, are not monkeys. I mean, you've met me. We knew each other for That's many terrifying. years. That's terrifying. I haven't met you recently, though. You could have become a monkey. Could have converted. Could have converted. True. <laughs> now think about the timeline here. Soup's left mm. Wisconsin. Mm. Soup's went to Florida. Mm. Florida is closer to the rainforest, where we've just confirmed there are monkeys. <laughs> mm, monkeys on the coastline. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weird sides that sides spin off to snakes on a plane. <laughs> Monkeys on the coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid. <laughs> I'll take my check now, Mr. Spielberg. I can't, I, I can't believe this whole monkey thing has just spun off from that stupid bunch of bananas. It wasn't was even bananas, it was a glove. <laughs> We it's keep calling it bananas, but it's a glove. <laughs> Monkeys take Manhattan. Oh, that's. Uh, I can't believe Rui pointed out factually that I cannot prove that Rui is not a monkey. It's the new MCU, oh, the Monkey man. Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Shut up. Yo, isn't that what they did with the Dawn of the Rise of the Planet of the Apes and all those apes? Yeah. Like that was kind of like a that was like a little cinematic universe of monkey. Yeah. My god. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> hmm. It seems the truth has come out at last. Does, Does Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars is, is gay? gay? <laughs> oh, were you going to say that too? <laughs> nice. I'm glad that we both went... Our, our singular brain cells each went to the same <laughs> one joke. <laughs> and here I am, having missed it because you talked over each other. Yeah, well, we both I mean, said, we does said Bruno Mars thing. is gay? Yeah. Oh. It was a, it was like some, some like weirdly written article that yeah, was a yeah, thing yeah. like years ago. Mm -hmm. The yeah, truth I, I come out. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... Uh-oh. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, he's going full monkey! <laughs> Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third-rate education. What's that supposed to mean? Apes together strong. The evidence! Evidence! <laughs> ah, that guy is really... All you've been waving around is that the... And talking about is that suspicious cell phone! Suspicious phone number this, suspicious con group that! They're all on that phone! But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence! You want proof that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already <laughs> told you earlier! <laughs> that phone I lost, I've already found it! You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to! But you can be sure it's in mine, you simpleton! What? Did you forget? I like how he... I like his line re... I like how he's reacting to it. <laughs> as though, it like, this doesn't... You, this this not doesn't occurred make him, to him super suspicious. <laughs> we do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Not only that, it's meaningless as evidence. Everybody is stupid. Your Honor, this is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm, this cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. Maybe there's gotta be. Hmm, maybe. The phone's stored numbers, I assume, right? Yeah, I, feel, I assume the phone, phone stored, stored numbers, yeah. This phone has the names and numbers of those in the con group on its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh... What we are trying to determine who's that phone belong to. Who cares <laughs> about what phone numbers are stored on it? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers in your... 
The witness is quite right. I'm afraid I'll have to reject the defense's proposal. Uh, that jerk is back to his arrogant, annoying self again. Hmm, the cell phone. There has to be something. Fingerprints? Yeah, it does. I got it. We should check for fingerprints. Finger. Prince? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington it's must have lost like some prints on this like the of a gun? Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off! I what? You said there was sand all over it. So, wiped it? I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> God, <laughs> Phoenix is a dumbass. <laughs> 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 I'm distinguished. It's always so much fun <laughs> watching surgery <laughs> trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Oh, uh, he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you s Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the number stored on this phone. Now what's your ringtone, sport? Your mom. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mr. Wellington? What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? Hmm. At the Apple Store? <laughs> oh, you're too much. And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Eh? I assaulted you and stole it from you. I, I, oh my god, now I remember! You hit me with a fire extinguisher! Holy shit. Huh, looks like they hung up. Oh, good, I finally found it. <laughs> Donk. Quick line read. Slipping it in there. So that's nice when... Alright, Your Honor, I've got a new thing to bring up. This guy hit me with a fire this extinguisher. This guy assaulted me in the lobby of this building. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Yeah, We've worked so hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot-free. I know. No, Scott! I know anywhere. this phone has to be his. But how am I God, supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. With a second-rate deck. <laughs> 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 Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? This court hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> Monkey. If that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra-fancy restaurant on the other side of town. It's called Planet of the Apes World. <laughs> it's Thank called, I believe, Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetite! What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go with that? Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. Alright, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Red? Everything. Prove it. <laughs> Bold. Everything! Your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended. Besides, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Red? Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. This is your last chance, Mr. Wright. Eh? 
You may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only got one shot at this. If you cannot prove anything, everything, it's over for your client and for you. What? <laughs> Do you fully understand? I'm going to kill you if you don't get the Yes, Your Honor. Well, why would it be over for the client? Because, like, we already pro proved that she's not guilty. <laughs> I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period is ended! I'm opening it. Are you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh! Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time. Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain everything. You Ooh, know, three bars. My badge. Hang on, hang on. Scroll, scroll through slightly. Slowly. Uh, so we've got the cell phone, autopsy report, glasses, the photos, the baseball glove, Phoenix's business card, and uh, the list of names. B business card. Hmm. Yeah, some with his business card, right? Because why else would we have that? He's got his phone number on the back. Oh! Wait. Wait. Or is it our badge? It's not the badge. It's not our badge. <laughs> it's not the badge. Are we going to, like, call Phoenix's phone number? How would that be helpful? Oh, he has he Phoenix's has phone. phone. Yeah, he has he our stole, phone. He stole the wrong fucking one like a dumbass. Yeah. Uh, Take that. Uh, I'm... Yeah. This game <laughs> makes you feel smart. Yeah. I was wondering, because I was like, we still have clearly... Because this guy is acting like we didn't have the phone anymore. When we yeah. clearly did have the <laughs> we phone. Clearly, it's right so here. So he just... We literally have it. So I was like, yeah. what is he playing at? I thought he realized that, but he just took the wrong phone because he's a dumbass. Why, thank you. How nice. Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> oh my God. Judge's business card. Delta Dragon. <laughs> yeah, the court ring. It's written in fancy strict. The ink is strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, there is something very important about that card, and that is the name on the card. The back of the card. <laughs> it's me, baby, card. Phoenix Ride. Attorney <laughs> Phoenix Ride. This card is important because of what is on the back. Justice for all. I also love that the mm -hmm. judge apparently just has his business back, cards but... like in the court on his person. Of course I do. <laughs> I barely leave here. Where would I keep them? I've been stuck here for years. Did you read this? Sorry. I read the line. Okay. But that's exactly it. Can you please call the number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? But court is still in session. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, You'll see. Awesome. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic, stupid things to... Ba -da 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 -da. Uh? Hey, hey, guess what, idiot? Wrong what phone, phone dumbass. What is it with the stupid sounding ringtone? Beep. Mr. Wellington? Uh, you have my phone. Hmm, how strange. I can almost swear that you're holding my phone. Oh, doing the smug. <laughs> you're... He's got him now, lads! Ah! No, 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 no! It can't! By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. I don't think I need to explain any further, except to say, when you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistreat. Mi me. Let me try that again. Wow, when you went to retrieve that. your this cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. Line. We'll just cut it in post. Let's <laughs> play in the we'll fucking. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> oh my God, he's dying. He's gonna kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, oh, he actually- Oh my it. god, man down! <laughs> Monkey down. <laughs> my guy just went and offed himself right in court. So that is what happened. 
You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. Then... Then Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding. It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Dead! <laughs> oh, he was arrested and he's been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Now then, this court finds a defendant, Maggie Bird. Not guilty! guilty. <laughs> confetti. There's Dick Gumshoe throwing confetti in court again. Yeah, yeah. That is all. Yeah. This court is adjourned. Get fucked. September 8, 2 16 p.m. Get District it. Court Defender Lobby Number 1. Number one. Aww. I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir. Thank you so very much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He's dead. Yeah, true. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Me, though. Yo, I felt that. <laughs> Your whole life? It can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. Jesus. I've been hit what? by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. Jesus. Ooh. That's rough. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the Goddess of Misfortune. And then, at the Academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Hmm. Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? Oops, I reverted a little. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> going, a little, a little, going a little Burger King on it. Going mm. a little foot lettuce. She forgot her training for a minute. Squint. When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, oh, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand, and... Before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. What? what? Oh. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true. That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, you mean those bananas? I see. Everything is all my fault. Dustin's death, your head being all messed up. Yeah, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it, I promise. Walks out of the courtroom and gets hit Next by a bus. Next time we meet. <laughs> <laughs> Anvil falls. I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Y yeah, that's the spirit. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you. Don't fucking beep it or something. Thanks, you take care of yourselves too. Hey, bye. <laughs> <sighs> what a horrible day. I've got my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Yeah, yeah old I'm people like you can't take too many goes. hits on the head. <laughs> so, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back. I said it was a bit fuzzy. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. 
the judge. He's a lovable, I'm kind old man who is easily swayed by other people's opinions. But in the True. end, he always comes up with the right <laughs> verdict. He's very easily swayed. This person. I haven't got a clue. He seems to know me, but maybe he's mistaking me for someone else? That's cold. And this girl. <laughs> wow, he really did pain dirty, huh? <laughs> Maya? You you finally remember. This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example... Earth to me, heck. What's wrong? <laughs> you keep staring at me. Don't tell me you've missed me. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, I got the chief of police arrested while you were gone? <laughs> it was, was crazy. Wild. Well, now, so it's time for us to create new memories together. What the fuck happened? All right, sounds good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All the phone All numbers right. on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick. Let's go to our usual burger joint. So I okay, she okay. Burgers? What the fuck? Content. She does. I She's actually really into burgers. I'm pretty sure it's noodles. Someone in chat mentioned that earlier. I'm pretty sure it's Man. noodles in Japanese, but yeah, it's burgers in English for some reason. Listen, wait, we're in San Francisco. <laughs> home of the burger. We're the home <laughs> of the... Well, actually, a lot of people in Wisconsin say that Seymour, Wisconsin is the birthplace of the burger. Oh. Huh. How about that? And they would be wrong. Actually, it hasn't even been that long it's like since our I came only back claim into my face. life. But yeah, there was a... The, the last trial of the first game was like a DLC kind of thing that yeah. they, happened they came after out, Maya left. Yeah, they came out with basically for the DS version when they remade the first three games and uh, put it out on the eShop for the DS. They added a bonus case to the first game that kind of bridges between uh, one and two a little bit. And Maya's not in it. She's, yeah. She's off training. And it's But it's a really good-ass case, though. It's, it's very okay. long, but very good. It is the There's longest a cowboy case guy in Ace Attorney. And the it, there's a cowboy guy, there's a fucking church pipe organ, there's a fucking monstrosity called the Blue Badger, there's <laughs> oh, wow. fingerprints, intrigue, a guy dying in two places at the same time briefly. What? Yeah, it's wild. You should yeah. really, you should you should catch up, idiot. And that story no, fuck you. That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Episode one, the lost turnabout, the end. So we're going to get to see this. A brand new episode has been added. It's another spirit medium. Is this also a fae? It's like a little sister or a cousin or... Perhaps. Some monkey. We'll have to, we'll have to find out. I don't I don't know that it was that it's a monkey there, Swissy. We'll have to find monkey. out next week when we come back for yet another episode of Ace Attorney Justice for All. Which is the second one, and despite the fact that it too. feels like it should be the third one. The third one is called Trials and Tribulations, which is, I think, just a less final name than Justice for All. That's true. It feels like they misordered that a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, well. But yeah, and remember that you too, if you are also a big old bungus like Swissy and missed our first stream, you can go that, catch it on the YouTube. That whole shit's available Because we on upload YouTube. all of them. If nothing else, um, I don't know what episode it would have been, but try to watch the last few episodes just for that last case if you've never seen it. It's tight. It's baller. And I do a bad cowboy voice. <laughs> Two, in fact. Two? Well, one's more, supposed to be more just like a, a southern it's guy. A southern gentleman, yeah. And the other one's Yeah, cowboy. southern gentleman. And the other one is was me just trying to do cowboy. You did your best, and that's what counts. Well, yes. I, right, well. I always try my best. It's just not very cool. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Uh, all right. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you uh, Monday, I think, for whatever we decide to do then. Because I think that is the next time that I have Doing your off. mom. Doing your mom. Yo. Yep. That's a good song. Bye. <laughs> your favorite Martian? Goodbye. <laughs>